Love is giving. The law of love does not do away with other laws, but makes the law of recompense, the law of faith, the law of earth forces of effect. Not defective but effective. Love is that attribute of the soul that enables us to give, asking nothing in return. Christ exemplified this in his life, in his death, and in his parting promise after his resurrection, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. If humanity could get the vision of what it means to love as he loves, what peace would come on earth? Do we want the best for another before our own wants and desires are satisfied? Can we see some good in all whom we meet? This is the Christ way of showing love. Where we are weak, he is ready to sympathize, comfort, and supply strength. In his name there is power. If we call on his name, if we abide in his teachings, we will radiate such a glow of righteousness, right thinking and acting, that those who sit in darkness will see great light. Let us take hold on things of the Spirit, for they alone are eternal. The children of light are called even now into service that his day may be hastened, lest many faint. Do we not remember our years and years of service for our families and for our friends, in which every act was so prompted by love that there was never a thought of being weary? When our best years have been spent for them and we are no longer needed or seemingly appreciated, does sadness fill our hearts? Let us not forget that such service is never lost, for with love, it has been woven into the souls of those for whom we worked. It will shine forth again and again in the lives of many yet unborn. Love never dies. It is eternal. What is the law of love? Giving. As is given in this injunction, love thy neighbor as thyself. As is given in the injunction, love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, thine soul and thine body. In this, as in many, we see upon the physical or earth or material plane the manifestations of that law, without the law itself. With any condition we find as this, which is the manifestation of the opposite from law of love. The gift, the giving, with hope of reward or pay, is direct opposition of the law of love. Remember there is no greater than the injunction, God so loved his creation, or the world, as to give his only begotten Son, for their redemption. Through that love, as man makes it manifest in his own heart and life, does it reach that law, and in compliance of a law, the law becomes a part of the individual. That is the law of love. Giving in action, without the force felt, expressed, manifested, shown, desired or reward for that given. Not that the law of love does away with other laws, but makes the law of recompense, the law of faith, the law of divine, with the law of earth forces, if you please, of effect, not defective, but of effect. So we have love is law, law is love. God is love. Love is God. In that we see the law manifested, not the law itself. Unto the individual, as we have given then, that gets the understanding of self, becomes a part of this. As is found, which come in one, so we have manifestations of the oneness, of the allness in love. Now, if we, as individuals, upon the earth plane, have all of the other elementary forces that make to the bettering of life, and have not love we are as nothing. Nothing? Though one may have the gift of prophecy, so as to give great understanding, even of the graces in hope, in charity, in faith, and has not the law of love in their heart, soul, mind, and though they give their body to give itself for manifesting even these graces, and has not love they are nothing. In many, many ways may the manifestations of the law of love be shown, but without the greater love, even as the Father giveth, even as the soul giveth, there is no understanding and no compliance of the forces that make our later law to this, of effect. 
What is meant by learning the law of love? How may I do this? It is that ye make applicable in thy daily experiences. Love me is ever the command. A new commandment I give, that ye love one another even as I have loved you. It is the willingness to sacrifice all of self, even the abilities of self, that others may know the Lord better. In giving counsel or advice, well that the innate and inmost self be aroused to activity. Not as any resentments against anyone, but rather as to the purposefulness of the experience of the entity in the earth in the present. As given, there must, or there would, from the developments from the soul forces of the entity. Come those periods when there would be within self halting opinions and questionings within self and questionings of others and their purposes, aims, desires. While, as given, tolerance in all directions is a thing to be desired, much greater indeed is to know the love that is given by him who gave himself as a sacrifice, as an example, as a mediator, as an influence in the experience of every soul. To know, then, the consciousness within self of the indwelling of the spirit of the love of the master, raiseth each soul to the knowledge to do that which is to the soul the necessary activity for that soul to develop. For, the gospel of Jesus Christ taketh man where man is, for the making aware is of the soul's relation to the spirit that gives life in every man. Hence in these meditations, in these activities, there may come that which will enable this body-soul, this body-mind, to become active in that field whereunto, there will be not only peace and joy and happiness in this present experience, but there will be builded soul development in the entity's activities itself. Be willing, then, to give out. Not only of self's own ideas, but of self's own ideals and dare to live that as conscience directs thee, but be, most of all, sincere with self, with self's own soul, with self's own ideal. For, the ideal is set in him, and must not be shaken. So the self, in its mental body, its soul body, must see in individuals whom the entity contacts that same manifestation that was given by him, knowing that each effort on the part of individuals is to give a manifestation of their impulse as to that held within their mental mind, their soul mind, as their concept of that they themselves worship in themselves. Hence their ideal. Being then in that mind, point rather to the thought that is expressed in him. That is the Father manifests in each individual entity in any experience, under any environment, under any hereditary influence, from the broader sense, so may that soul be awakened to those influences to know the Father. Then, follow the example of thy ideal, who took the mind of each entity in that sphere of their expression, and only gave to love the Lord thy God with all the heart, the mind, the soul, and the neighbor, the brother, the associate, even the enemy, as thyself. This is the whole law, and that material manifestation for each soul in the material phases of experience to be heirs of the kingdom, and joint heirs with him that has shown the way. Oft has it been said, and well were it that all consider friendships and loves that are builded on peace grow, while those things that partake of earth become weather-worn, and with age unfit, unuseful. Yet those that partake of those things that bespeak of the abilities that come with love in its higher sense build, grow more beautiful as time, age, comes on. In this, then, will the entity do well, that those things that become as the thoughtful portions of its activities, in the little things that the body busies itself with, that they partake more and more of that not always as sacrifices. For, as has oft been said, no longer does the higher forces, or God, call for sacrifice. Rather that ye love one another, even with that love as was shown in the gift of the Holy One, that we through him, might have access to the Father, to the throne of mercy and of grace. In giving, living, being, then, 
that is draws nearer to those characterizations in activities in and out before men, may all, even as this entity, find that peace, that contentment, that comes with knowing that the whole armor is put on, having the feet shod with a joyous message, having on the helmet of light, with hands ever ready to lend a helping hand to everyone, in every manner. In this characterization of an ideal may the entity meet and make for those developments in the present that are characterized in those influences in Neptune. Not as mysteries not understood, but rather as being, living, doing, those things through those channels that brings the understanding of the glorious love of him, shed in a world of sin. From the sojourn of the entity in Venus, we find those influences making for one of emotional and high emotional nature, tendencies. From the sojourns of the Atlantean influence and from the Arturian influences. For visions or dreamings of high ennobling experiences, yet these are in the material rather that is may find its expression in the emotional nature in the entity's experience in the present. If these are kept or maintained rather in the spirit of good, the spirit of truth, as of constructive forces, these will make for greater opportunities, greater blessings, greater material manifestations, in the experience of the entity of love, harmony, peace, and those things that bring the contentment which is in a life of service for a purpose as ideal and spiritual import. Please advise me how I may be of the most help to my father. Atlanta, Georgia? We haven't father. The best application of self is respecting any individual. Father, mother, brother, or what? Is to let thy life be in thy associations with each the reflection of that thou thinkest of thy God. This makes for a life of service, or the using of life that the father, the son, may be glorified in the earth even as in heaven. How may I better use my present abilities that I may turn these influences into those material concepts for the betterment or soul development of self, as well as for the aid, counsel and strength that may be given to those who seek through these channels? As has been indicated. More and more learn to use every influence within the grasp of the entity's concept that less and less of self, less and less of self-indulgence, less and less of self-glory, more and more that the glory of the Father through the Son may be made manifest in the experiences of self in its relationships with its fellow man. These the manners, these the ways, as has been indicated. These must be an activity in self. For as hath been given, by faith are ye healed and not of yourself. Again as it hath been given, show me thy faith by thy works, in thy relationships, in thy conversation, in thy activity with thy fellow man.